Welcome to Cooking Heroes Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the QR Server API to generate QR codes. It's really easy. So right here, you just type in the QR content. So whatever you want to the QR code to mean. It could be a link to something, or it could just be some text. I'm going to paste in the link to my website. And the image size, 100 pixels. I'm going to make it 500 pixels to make it nice and big and click make QR code and now there it is a QR code which leads to my website try it scan this QR code it'll work all right I'm gonna show you how to do that let's get started started, pop open your text editor, or whatever you prefer to use to write HTML. Next, make a doc type tag, because we're writing HTML. Next, type QR content, and create an input. Input and give it an ID. Let's call it content. Close quotes. And that's it. Then image size colon. Make another input. But this time type type equals open quotes number close quotes ID equals open quotes size. And if you want to have a default value type value equals open quotes 100 or whatever you want your default value to be but you don't have to the default value will be zero if you don't do that great next make a button tag button and give it an on click event on click equals open quotes qr open parentheses document dot get element with a capital E, by with a capital B, ID with a capital I, my favorite command, open parentheses, open different quotes, because over here you can see that I opened double quotes. Well, over here then you should open single quotes if you did the same as me. Otherwise just do the opposite of whatever quotes you use. And type mm, content. That's this input right here, the first one, close quotes, close parentheses, dot, value, comma, document, dot, get, element, with a capital E, by, with a capital B, ID, with a capital I, open parentheses, open single quotes again, size, close quotes, close parentheses, dot, value, again, close parentheses, close quotes, and inside the button just put something like make QR code and close the button tag. Great, on the JavaScript. This will be very easy. Script function QR, because you know that's a function we called up here, in parentheses content comma size close parentheses, open curly braces, document dot get element by ID with a capital E, B, and I, open parentheses, open quotes, output, which we will add shortly, close quotes, close parentheses, dot inner HTML with a capital HTML equals open quotes, make an image tag, img src equals equals open different quotes than the ones you just opened equals https colon slash slash api dot qr server dot com slash v1 slash create dash qr dash code slash 
question mark data equals close the big quotes the ones you put around the whole thing plus content plus open those big quotes again and symbol size equals close the big quotes again plus size plus open the big quotes again plus x close the big quotes plus size again plus open the big quotes again and then just close the small quotes space and greater than sign to end the tag and close the big quotes semicolon and then close the curly braces and close the script tag next make a div div and give it an id id equals open quotes output because that's what we called it up here in the function close quotes and then just close the div slash div all right save that file i'm going to call it qrmaker.html save now pop open your browser find the file on your computer and drag it into your new tab and here it is now instead of putting a link this time I'm just gonna put some text hello world and I'm fine with 100 by 100 for this one I'm gonna click make QR code and there it is there's our QR code that says hello world so as you can see it works thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe buy my merch and remember Today's a great day.